Hello, I am Shakti. I am an assistant professor working in the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics in KSR Women's College, Pichamur. And then today we are going to discuss about the topic bakery science. So baking is one of the cooking method which uses the dry heat for the cooking of food, especially in the oven. So we can distribute some bakery products like bread, rolls, cookies, pastries, etc. We know that baked bread can be a common staple food in the prehistoric times and it provides some nutrients in the human diet. And we can see about some scientific principles involved in the baking like reduction of starch in which we can see that the starch was converted into the sugar by the action of yeast. And second principle is mechanical stretching in which the flour contain a protein called gluten which was stretched mechanically along with the other ingredients. And the next principle is proving which was done by the yeast which converts the sugar into the carbon dioxide and alcohol and make the dough rise and then fourth principle is flavoring which was given by the alcohol which was formed in the process of proving which gives us some separate flavor and the crust which gives the distinct flavor when it gets heated so let's see about the equipments used in the bakery so we know that equipment refers to some machinery, tools, utensils, crockery and cutlery which is helpful in the preparation, service and storage of goods. There are three types of equipments like large equipment, small equipment and tools. Large equipment are helpful in doing the major functions like uh, uh, blending, heating, baking etc. We can list out some large equipment like oven, and then chiller trolley blender and small equipments which is helpful in making the small works as some small tasks like peeler, knife, kit and cake stand and tools it is important in the bakery unit so we can list some tools like cake tins, bread molds, measuring spoons and measuring jars and the ingredients used in the bakery it was categorized into some categories like texture blenders, tenderizers, moisturizers and dryers and flavoring agents. In texture blender we can see about the flour, egg, milk and tenderizer, sugar, shortenings and baking powder in moisturizers liquids, in dryers flour, cocoa powder and milk powder and flavoring agents. We can see about the flour. So we can usually use the wheat flour for the baking uh, bakery products and we can some extent we can use the barley flour. So when wheat flour was mixed with appropriate amount of water to form a dough which is elastic which was due to the protein present in it called gluten. There are different types of flours like bread flour, self-rising flour, all-purpose flour, biscuit flour and enriched flour. This enriched flour we can be enriched by some other minerals and nutrients. And then sugar. It is act as a sweetener and tenderizers. It lowers the caramelization point of the batter and it allows the cake crust to color at the lower temperature. Sugar also helps in the retention of the moisture in the baker cake and it keeps the moist for several days and if we use the large sugar crystals it produces a coarse texture and then fat fat is used as a shortening so it can be a white or yellow fat it is virtually 100 percentage fat which was made from the refined coconut oil palm kernel oil and cotton seed oil and fat helps in preventing the flour from absorbing the water and hindering the formation of gluten Shortening have been used in the baking product which gives a crisp and crumbly texture. Thank you.